Greetings, everyone, from the puzzle room here at my home in Wilmer, Minnesota. Welcome to episode five of Revolution 2020 as we dive into questions uh, that have been presented by you, uh, the students and the church, uh, that you would just like to hear a response and an answer to. That being said, let's dive into our question for the night. What is God really like? Another great question. What is God really like? Hmm. Well, let's go at it this way. First, I want you to imagine someone's house that's filled with puzzles and games. You might know this person. You might be this person yourself. Now, let's go a little bit bigger. Imagine you're in a department store browsing through the game and the puzzle section. Within this area are hundreds of puzzles along with hundreds of games to look at and to dream about owning. You notice that many of these puzzle boxes are the same size. And suddenly you have a bolt of mayhem that enters your mind. What if? What if I switch the tops of all of the boxes on these puzzles? You laugh maniacally, ah, ha, 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 as you imagine people bringing the puzzle home, opening it, and trying to match pieces to the wrong picture. Though it sounds like fun, your conscience probably gets in the way of you, and you probably have to mix this wonderful yet fiendish idea. You know what? People in the world get their pictures of God. Uh, what they think they're like from TV and movies. They get their pictures of what God is like from friends who say they believe in God, but never act like it. They get the picture of God sometimes from stories they heard from their grandma eight years ago. Some of them might get this picture of who God is through coaches who maybe pray before a game, but they swear the pain off the wall at halftime. Maybe they get their picture of God from the street preacher that's screaming out hell and damnation. Maybe other places. And these pictures of God aren't really anything like him. They don't look like the God you're supposed to get to know and to love. You know, that's why it's so important to not settle for hearsay, what other people say when it comes to finding out what God is really like. So that means we need to be looking to the Bible, and we need to find out what the Bible says about who God is. You know what? People throughout the world are trying to put the God puzzle together. And unfortunately, the world has changed the cover on many people. You see, their main dilemma is they're often trying to match the pieces that they have to the wrong picture. Shoot, you know, growing up, I had an idea of God that was very convoluted as well from what I read in the Bible. You know what, growing up, these are things that, as I had a chance to think about this this week, things that I knew and learned about God, that he was eternal, that he's good, he's gracious, he's holy, he's imminent, he's joyful, he's immutable, he's impassable, he's impeccable, he's incomprehensible, he's incorporeal, he's, he's immortal, he's a spirit, he was a burning bush, he was a pillar of fire, He's a creator. He's a donkey whisperer. He's jealous. He's loving. He's mysterious. He's omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. He's three in one, Jesus. Beginning, end, alpha, omega, redeemer, friend, prince of peace, line of Judah, God's throne, all God's son. All these things are being thrust at me throughout my life about who God is and what he looks like, that he's a king, that he's a master, that he's a lawgiver, a healer, provider. He's judge. He's a wrathful. He's angry. He's sovereign. He's the Trinity. He's transcendent. He's self-existing. He's self-sufficient. He's kind. He's gentle. He's a servant. He's faithful. He's a peacemaker, yet he's a war bringer. He's wise. He's just. He's merciful. And he is Lord of all. We have all of these different images and thoughts about who God is, what he is really like. And we often might be thinking to ourselves, there are so many different things here. Is God trying to hide who he really is from us? You know what? God has clearly shown the world what he is like. 
He didn't part the clouds, put a heavenly megaphone to his lips and tell us what he was like. He came down to earth and he showed us. Let's see what scripture has to say. In the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the universe. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for the sins of the world, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Jesus goes on to say it very plainly, I and the Father are one in John 10 30 and even when he was asked point blank by Philip he was straightforward in his ply don't you even know who I am Philip even after all this time that I've been with you anyone who has seen me has seen the father so why are you asking to see him and we see that in John 14 9. note as we ask this question what is God really like and we think about this puzzle of all these things that make up who he is. I rem, I rem, I'm reminded of a puzzle uh, that my grandma, Dinko, had up in Duluth. And I remember those trips to Duluth fondly, driving the car, stopping at Toby's for, for a donut. Mine usually had a lemon topping. I remember uh, going up there during the holidays and the time they would spend at grandma's house. And I remember always seeing this puzzle, always seeing this image. And as a kid, wondering what this was. How do you fit these pieces together? And what image do they form? I didn't have a guy to tell me, yet I had to figure out what these pieces were. And as we just talked about, as we look at all these different things about who God is, we find out that they fit best together when we look at Jesus. Jesus completed the puzzle. Jesus is the representation of who God is. Jesus is the answer to the puzzle of life. Note it doesn't get more obvious than to know what God is like. It's all we have to do is look intently at the life of Jesus. Note what is God really like? All those things that I listed earlier and more, I'm sure that you could go back to that one, to that page, and you could list even more things uh, than I listed on there. The puzzle of who God is and what he is like can best be seen and unraveled through the life of Jesus, who brings it all together and completes the puzzle. And you know what? This might be a good thing for you to hear today, for each of us to hear today, because who knows? Jesus just maybe is the piece that you have been missing in your life. Maybe you're dealing with a puzzle of your life right now. You're struggling to figure it all out. And I challenge you to turn those pieces over to Jesus. You know, there's so much beauty in the world today that points to who God is. And a wise man once said, you can see God in nature, but you can only see the nature of God in Jesus. Jesus completes every puzzle. Well, I hope this was a good word for you tonight. I hope that uh, some of the truth of what scripture says and maybe what I said uh, rings true uh, in your life to know that you might be facing a puzzle. You might be facing a struggle, an obstacle in your life right now. Maybe the thing you just need to do is put Jesus into that puzzle. Trust him and know that he can help you figure it out. When we look at all these things about who God is, they're made complete and perfect in Jesus. So let me pray for you guys tonight. You are loved. You are missed. I want to lift you up right now. So God, thank you for this time together tonight. And I pray throughout the week that as we look at the puzzle of life, um, 
what the world throws at us, what other people throw at us. God, that we um, would be able to put those pieces together with you at the center of them. Father God, you are so many things. You are so good. You are so loving. You're perfect. And God, we want to become more like you. And the best way that we can do that is to become more like Jesus, who completes the puzzle. So God, tonight, we ask that you be with us. God, help us uh, in our daily lives and our daily struggles to trust you. Father God, if we're feeling weak and weary and uh, this whole uh, virus thing is getting us down, God, help us to put you into that daily equation. God, help us to fix our eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith, the one who completes us. God, help us to trust in you. So God, thanks for this time. We ask your blessing upon the rest of this week. Your name we pray. Amen. Have a great night, you guys.